What's poppin' everyone? Welcome to another episode of Remember When. My name is Jose. With me today are my boys Amir and Giants. Say what's up, guys. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Remember When, home of the Rememberers. May we help you remember? Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to take a number two. You like to take a number two? Yeah. You know what we got for number two? What? I ain't gonna lie, I forgot, bro. Oh, okay. My, wow, my, that's, that's terrible brain, customer service. My brain went I was waiting in suspense. I'm like, what is he gonna say? <laughs> bro, that is like the interaction I had with a homeless man in New York. <laughs> Yo, is that, is, you wanna buy something, kid? <laughs> He's like, oh, what you got? Wait, did you say yes? No, I gave him the Diddy stare. The... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. So... Would you guys rather be able to talk to trees or rocks? Like, which do you think would be would be able to tell a more interesting story, rocks or trees? Well, rocks are instructable usually, but and you could toss some shits. I'd rather talk to a rock, and there's so many rocks, dude. I I, I didn't like the way you said that. There's so many rocks. There's so <laughs> many fucking rocks in the world, but, bro. No, I agree with that. I honestly, I would choose rocks too. Because I I'm, I just want to talk to that one rock right where it's gonna be like, yo I was in I was in Krypton one day then the planet exploded now I'm on my way to Earth and I'm like yo this is crazy and then I hit the dinosaur don't know what that is but they all gone now and now I've just been chilling here for a hundred million years. Bro, that'd be fucking awesome. I'm just saying like that'd be amazing. I, I'd like to see a tree being like. I've been here for a while, photosynthesis. And then yeah. that that all did say, yeah. You'd be like, oh, I've been in this one spot. What have you been seeing? <laughs> Saw a bird, flew on me and pooped on me. Bro, doesn't that apply to rocks too? <laughs> but rocks, you can toss them shits. Like I could take a rock from uh, like uh, like from uh, from South Africa, bring it all the way to America, and it could tell me all these stories about like apartheid and shit. It could be like, man, man, all this all this shit that I saw. <laughs> you, you're not gonna, you're not gonna believe <laughs> Who it. Put what? this rock in this man's pocket <laughs> with the opening, and this rock just seen it all, and you just decided to find it. <laughs> this is a horrible shonen in the making. <laughs> yeah, the living rocks <laughs> <laughs> just talk to a rock being like so in spongebob they said the pioneers would ride you guys for miles like what was that like being like well that's crazy that you asked because i'm at sacagawea being like <laughs> <laughs> yo we can go like rock hunting in the sea bro the, you dude the, especially in the mariana trench all them rocks bro the shit that they've probably seen actually they probably can't see shit they're fu- it's fucking dark down I there i was about to say <laughs> This rock got clarity up the ass given by God. Like, this man can just see clearly through the ocean and shit. <laughs> How about you, Amir? So, we're on Team Rock. Are you on Team Tree? I think I'm Team Geodude either way. But I think it would be all cool right. if, like, the trees, because they have roots and they can connect with the dirt and all that, I feel like they might be able to actually tell you a cool story about how, like, the land develops and all that shit. I don't know what the fuck a rock gonna do because unless if I pick that up and throw it, it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you gonna be real <laughs> tight when the tree is like, yeah, yo, my cousin Marty got cut down like three weeks ago, man. Like, yo, <laughs> and his leaves touched my roots, and now he's a part of me. You could be a whole ass <laughs> druid, bro. Like talking to the tree. Y'all sitting on trees. <laughs> this could be a hive mind. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the trees, <laughs> you know what the the, the the concept of a tree hive mind does sound kind of fucking awesome. Like all the trees are connected, Mother Nature is one. But I still would rather talk to a rock. Like the rock is gonna be single. It's like talking to a human. If I talk to a human from like Asia, it's gonna be different from talking to a human in America. That's the same thing with rocks. I don't. I don't want to talk to a hive mind. A hive mind is gonna be like, yeah, we all did this and this and this and this. I want to talk to individual stories. I want to hear their story. Yeah. I want to know where y'all are selecting these rocks because you really got to travel to find these really good <laughs> rocks. Otherwise, you're getting shit stories. I'm just, hold up. Hold That's up, why hold you up. got to pick and choose. Yeah. And like Johnny said, they could have traveled Bro, for I'd rather find yeah. out if the trees hate humankind and if they are trying to kill us. Bro, yeah, they're, they're going to tell you that they Can hate you. Can you imagine? I talk Christmas to the tree. Time. They're like, you know that movie, The Happening? It, it's happening, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, Christmas time, bro, every single tree going to be cursing you out. They're going to be like, damn, humans throwing on lights on me. You think them rocks like you? Yeah. Aren't you a runner? Yeah. How many rocks have you stepped on? What you mean? They probably don't feel it. Bro, yeah. you're probably a terrorist to rocks. <laughs> to rocks. No. That's construction <laughs> workers, bro. They be coming in and just breaking shit. 
Jack Hammering. All the motherfuckers that be climbing like climbing mountains and shit, and then they take like the biggest boulder and they toss it off the fucking cliff. <laughs> <laughs> I feel nah. like they like rock climbers. You just gripping up all the rocks. That that would be crazy though yeah. if a rock like recognized me from like when I was like eight years old and like skip try to skip one across the water and he was just like, Oh, you were that guy. That's wild. I didn't now forget my, that. Now my life is condemned to underwater blackness. <laughs> <laughs> all, all I've been seeing is catfish. <laughs> Before I saw deer, raccoon, squirrel. <laughs> I saw the highway. <laughs> Be like rocks would hit us way more. My view was perfect, trees. and then this nigga Johnny spit on me. <laughs> or can you imagine a rock would be like, "Yo, some kid like dripped like this thing called vanilla ice cream on me the other day." Give me more. <laughs> I don't need that Please. shit. Please, I enjoyed the fire ants that came afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yo, talking to rocks sounds too much fun. Y'all are bugging. Get on with this. <laughs> 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 All right, so for today's episode, we are going to be talking about Good Burger, home of the Good Burger, where Johnny can take your order. Mm-hmm. You know what we got on our order list? What? Repressed memories. Repressed memories. Do you guys remember, it was in the beginning of the movie, I forgot, whatchamacallit, they had said, uh, one dude was like, can I have a burger with nothing on it? And this man really <laughs> brings him out just buns. And he said, where the meat patty at? You said a meat patty something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, meat patty something. <laughs> <laughs> Even how it is, boy, in the back. He's like, yo, is a meat patty something? He said, yup, told you so. <laughs> so he's not wrong. Ed's, yeah. Ed's, Ed's pretty smart, bro. Yo, Ed is a genius. They try to portray him as a fucking idiot. No, Ed's a smart motherfucker. Yo, I have to say his acting is top notch because, like, I don't know, to, to literally become a whole nother person, that's tough. Like, that's insane. Uh, I, I at least I feel like the acting was really good on Ed's. Uh, what, what? Wait, that was Kel, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. On his uh, on his part, I thought he did a fantastic job. Everybody else was, you know, just Nickelodeon cheesiness. Yeah, every, the whole movie was Nickelodeon cheesiness, bro. Yeah. Like, it, but it's a classic. It's a certified hood classic. Yeah, it's not a Drake movie. A Drake movie. Drake Bell. I thought you were talking about the fucking rapper Drake. I'm like, what movie is he going? Like, what? I was Degrassi. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was oh, right. Yeah. I was like, yeah, fucking Degrassi. <laughs> Man, that's got shot. <laughs> Not talking about Drake Bell, boy. All the movies ass. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, fucking grow up, Timmy Turner. We try. He literally played Timmy Turner. Hell, the fuck not, bro. I would have declined that role so fast. I would have been like, I'm sorry, Nicola. I know you've done a lot for me, but also like, no. Oh, Good Burger was no. actually funny though. Yeah. I mean, rewatching it, I think some of the jokes are a little outdated. I don't know, like the humor, I should say, is a little outdated. I but think as the theme a whole, is though, outdated. yeah, definitely, definitely the theme. I mean, well, it, just the overall aesthetic of it is 100 percent outdated. <laughs> or even the fact that my man was like, "I'm making five dollars an hour." I was like, "Boy, <laughs> I said five dollars an hour, <laughs> bro. I would have quit my job so long ago. I would have became a farmer." <laughs> yeah, the way that I remember he was doing the calculations and shit. He's like, yeah. "Okay, five dollars an hour, six hours a day, so that's thirty bucks a day. And then five days a week, so you're making about okay, one hundred eighty a week." And he's like, "Oh man, I got to pay off. How much you got to pay off? Yeah, man, like a it was over two thousand dollars. Yeah, a little over two thousand dollars. And if we're talking a summer, so like three months, twelve months, it's like it's literally like you're beginning like less than two thousand on that whole summer." You can't pay that motherfucker off, bro. <laughs> bro, that is not far off from what I was making at Wawa. I was making seven dollars or some shit. Yeah, <laughs> dang, that that's crazy, bro. And that's not that far Wawa, off. Like, what was it, like fifteen years later? That, that's insane. Holy shit. Yo, so do you guys want to give a quick plot summary? Of so good burger. So good burger is home of the good burger, where Ed will take your order, <laughs> and essentially, it's literally just good burgers. You get get you get good burgers. And it's literally that's like a fucking burger establishment. But you got Ed, you got play, played by Kel, and they got Dexter played by Keenan. You know Keenan and Kel, the you know the dynamic duo of the '90s. But essentially, Dexter goes up to Sinbad, go, like goes up to Sinbad. He's like, man, can't wait to get out summer vacation. This shit's gonna be easy. And Sinbad, Sinbad is his teacher. I'm not talking Sinbad the pirate. I'm talking Sinbad the comedian. All the old heads will get that. But, I'm, I'm glad you differentiated because, you know. Yeah, because I know motherfuckers, young yeah, motherfuckers yeah. would be like, Sinbad the pirate. They'll be like, no, Sinbad the comedian. You, you, he looks like a conehead. That's all you need to know. But a conehead with the afro. But yeah, Dexter fucks up his car. And essentially he's like, man, I'm going to take your ass to the police if you don't pay off my motherfucking car. He's like, oh, man, okay, fine. I'll get a summer job, man. So he ends up at Mondo Burger at first. But then goes to Good Burger where he meets Ed and fucking shenanigans ensues where they got to beat Mondo Burger because they're doing some conspiracy shit. Enlarging their burgers? How the fuck did they do that? The meat don't add up. 
It does not add up. It don't add up. So it, they got to find out the mystery behind why the fuck is the meat not adding up? Damn. Why is it so damn big? So you're saying it's basically SpongeBob SquarePants, but Plankton actually has customers. And they actually have a burger mobile. So it's literally the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. It literally is. <laughs> what a real man looks like. <laughs> no, that's it's crazy enough. That's legit. Like the whole premise is that a lot, like Johnny said, basically kind of like SpongeBob movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they just the got paddy t- wagon is there. Yeah, they got the paddy wagon. It's little, but it's like a imagine SpongeBob movie, but you can de- made it like a uh, uh, Chum Bucket versus the Krusty Krab type of situation. Yeah. But like, yeah, what y'all think? Because I revisiting this shit. I remember it would play on Nickelodeon all the time. At first time, I was like, eh, it's live action. I don't want to see this shit. But now, I enjoy it. It's a, it's a classic. Like I've said before, it's a, it's a classic. I have to say, even though I think it's aged, you know, quite a bit, it's definitely a good time. It's definitely enjoyable, especially if you enjoy uh, Keenan and Kel. You know, just the, just the humor that they deliver from that time period, you get a whole lot more of it in this movie. And I think any fan of theirs, you know, it's worth watching if you're if you're a fan of that. Yeah, it's a very homey movie. Like one of those movies <laughs> where like you're definitely not going to bust along laughing or like anything like that, but it's just a feel good to throw on. Absolutely. Yeah, cuz you could tell Keenan and Kel they got good they got good ass chemistry. Like they play off each other pretty pretty well. Like yeah, they do a fantastic job. Like even when even when like uh Dex or Keenan's character, he's like, man, I don't want to be near you, man, cuz Keenan's the like, cuz Kel's the, the one who caused the film to have the fucking accident in the beginning. He was like he was, he was too charming. Like some people might find Ed annoying, but I found him way too damn charming, bro. Like oh, he's I a he's him. a he's the dumbass that's charming, but he's Absolutely. not too annoying because yeah. dumbasses will be just be dumbasses. But at least Ed is more fucking like genuine with this shit. Like they say, even the, even the chick that um that Keenan goes out with, he's he's like at least Ed is genuine. Because he's a real homie. And I was like, man, you know what? That's true. Ed is a real fucking homie. He may be a fucking idiot, but he's not an idiot. He's a genuine homie. He really is. Yeah, I, I loved I loved his part in the whole movie, just being that goofy uh, main character, but also sidekick in a sense because he's kind of like the the sidekick in the story, but like plays a very pivotal role though, and uh, in developing the secret sauce, bro. Yeah, he he saved the Good good, Burger. Good Burger sauce. He literally saved Good Burger. Yeah, yo, do you know what's in the sauce? Lemon juice. Some other bullshit that was never explained. Yeah, no, <laughs> that, that's exactly what I was like. Because <laughs> I, rem- I, I vividly remember him being like lemon juice, and then he gets tackled, <laughs> and he's like, "Don't tell him, don't tell him, <laughs> don't tell him shit." <laughs> Yo, also, what kind of contract? My man really said, <laughs> "You see, I got a beneficial contract here for you. Yeah. I keep eighty percent of the money you make, <laughs> and guess what? You keep 20 it literally swindling the fuck out of Ed, bro. Yeah. Like my man really read the contract like this, though. He said, "Uh huh, yeah." Oh, I know some of these words. <laughs> he said, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. "He's like, so you're gonna sign?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." <laughs> Dancing over. But he's so fucking cool with it. That's why Ed is so, so chill. That's why Ed is so chill. Like I know. He, he literally, guys, get he literally gets his money. He's like, he, 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 fucking Dan foot, foot fetish Snyder, like their fucking manager. They both like, you're sixty seven dollars, and then he's like, um, oh, let me see that Ed. 47 you keep 13 and he's like ah sweet at least i get money i was like oh my god man. i know <laughs> but those kind of people you feel bad for messing with them you know it, like you actually feel like the criminal and you're just like i shouldn't feel bad but like i feel terrible in but in that case he should feel bad he should feel bad for that shit bro he really should he did can you bad. imagine if he was a real life boss so you made uh this new product on the premises right yes <laughs> and you used our products correct yes and you're an employee of us right Right. So it's our property. Thanks. <laughs> He'd be the one giving the contract. Be like, oh, 90%. <laughs> you wouldn't even give him money. He'd just be like, thanks, nigga. <laughs> New menu item. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, he can't even do that because it's like, it's like, man, you took my son. Actually, no, knowing Eddie would probably be like, yeah, it's fine, whatever. Here's a secret recipe. <laughs> like, <laughs> he'd just happily give him that shit. <laughs> man, this is so cool with it. Yo, I... How did you guys feel about the part? It was the girl from Good Burger was trying to flirt with Ed to try to get the, the recipe from him and whatnot. And uh, she was like, oh, how's about this? And like goes Leanberg gets it. And he was like, huh? And then he just like bodies her and judo flips her to the ground. He said, oh, my bad. He just made me nervous. He's like, are you OK over there? She literally is concussed just on the floor. Just 
she comes back into work. She's like, I quit. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. <laughs> that whole shit was funny because like she was trying her whole damn hardest, bro. <laughs> she was trying so hard to so lay the back on him. And he was not having that at all. That'd be the type of shit I do. <laughs> Ed had boundaries. He said, don't touch me. <laughs> he, was, I, he was almost willing to give up that secret sauce. No, he, he was almost willing to. Mm-hmm. And then he flipped her. <laughs> he flipped He flipped that bitch. <laughs> what secret sauce are we talking about here? We're talking about the secret sauce on the burger. Yeah, the, the good, good burger, burger sauce. Oh, okay, I thought you were saying he, he, he was going to give her the secret sauce. Do you even think Ed would know about that secret sauce? I mean, he know a judo flip, so. Mm, I feel like he's more about, he's more refined in beating ass and giving out sauce. Yeah, I feel like my man could wrestle. He could probably wrestle. He probably, he'd be, he's one of them dudes that'd be accidentally winning a, a fucking fight. You're like two <laughs> steps away from the act with wrestling. <laughs> uh, he's the kind of guy to like take a self-defense class and just being like, yeah, I know how to protect myself. I took a self-defense class and then just go, yeah, <laughs> knock him out. <laughs> Bend over, back, get up, hit headbutt a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Undercover black belt. <laughs> oh my gosh. But no, everybody, like, bro, the amount of, like, crimes that are committed in this whole damn movie is, like, astounding. Like, the police, like, the, the just Ed alone in his driving is enough to commit, like, I'm, I'm, sur I'm surprised that man didn't commit manslaughter, like, that whole fucking movie. Yo, how did you guys feel about the scene with him and Shaq? Oh, yeah, I forgot, I fucking forgot Shaq was in the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Shaq, so is, Shaq, in is, in, Shaq is in Good Burger. It literally came out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> it literally I don't know. I don't even, what did the scene have? Like, what was so, the point? Like, literally, it just showed. I, there was no, there was no point to it, right? Bro, with Shaq, it literally but, yeah. it just shows like, oh, we got Shaq in the movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, they got like a call for an order, right? And uh, yeah, so they end up they end up hopping in the paddy wagon and they drove over. And he's in the middle, or Shaq is in the middle of a press conference, and they come out. They're like, Shaq, we have your good burger. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> I expect them to get fucking tackled by security, but no, they just run up on this motherfucker. Like, hey, he's a good burger. He's like, man. Where my tomatoes at? <laughs> Yo, yeah, he comes in the shirt pocket, <laughs> the slaps the tomatoes on there. He <laughs> said, so you don't fit in, do you? <laughs> Just one problem. You forgot the pickles. <laughs> that ass. He's like, man, this is a good burger. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it right here. Shaq loves the good burger. <laughs> It was the most out of the blue scene I've ever, I've ever watched. It was because as I was rewatching, I completely forgot that he was even in the movie. And as I'm rewatching, I'm like, what? Yeah, I had to do a whole double tap. I'm like, when, when the fuck did Shaq get here? Like, Bro, Shaq is the original Rock. He used to be in hella movies back in the day. It's just, I mean, now the Rock is, it's just he acts good. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Bless yeah. Shaq's heart. Yeah, but Shaq Har. He tried he tried to be his own superhero back in the day, bro. He did. He tried to be steel. Yeah, he tried. That's the key term. Tried. He tried. <laughs> we'll give him the effort. We should give him another give him another try. Come on. Yeah, he could be the next uh Luke Cage. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is that I better see Shaq and Good Burger too. <laughs> I want him to come back. Oh yeah, they did say they were gonna do fucking Good Burger too. Yeah. Bro, do you think that cause when we started, you said the theme is a little old. And you said the movie is aged. I saw a clip of them advertising a new movie. It's the same fucking humor from the first movie. I don't think it's going to be a good movie. Bro, <laughs> no, I'm not going to lie. I watched the clip and I was like, God damn. Well, like so I think this is going to be direct to streaming, if I'm not mistaken. No surprise. So it will be on like Paramount Plus, I think, yeah. is where it's going to come out on. So yeah. I don't know. Paramount Plus. Who got that? You, you know, they got uh, the Rugrats oh, reboot. Yeah. The Rugrats. 3D reboot. The 3D, yeah. Oh man, Pirate Bay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Actually, people could watch the original uh, Good Burger movie on YouTube for free. Oh yeah, that's true. That's how you know you old. If you can make it to the YouTube. Yeah. Like I watched Gladiator on YouTube. Mm -hmm. on can you, wait, 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 you did? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> I watched the whole movie on YouTube. I said, yeah. I need it for ecology something and everything. I said, this is lit. <laughs> <laughs> How long ago was this? Probably about like four years ago or something like that. Oh, okay, okay. I'm not that really matter. I'm just like, I don't know. I feel like that's such a random 
Gladiator You'll on, on YouTube. You'll find some movies on YouTube. You yeah, will. It's honestly, great. yeah, I might have to do a little little dig. They'll probably be up there for this. only like maybe like three years, not three years, maybe like three months, and then that's it. Yeah, like, literally, it'll get deleted because if you you got to go find it quick, or you know, yeah. use my certified website that I sent both y'all. You know, Pause. find any movie you Absolutely want. Absolutely not. Find any movie. I'll just refuse. click off the links. Don't no, if no. if Hannah says that she's only six miles it. away and wants to smash, it's probably a buy. Don't worry Hannah. about it. Don't worry about it. Just ignore it. Put your dick down. That's all I request. Wait, you saying so Lucy is fake? Yeah, Lucy is fake. Damn. Don't talk to Lucy. Bro, there was an advertisement that said grab ass with Sally. And I was like, yo, I love games. <laughs> grab ass with Sally. <laughs> <laughs> I said, out of all the games, grab ass is my favorite. <laughs> How'd they know? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, if they did it, they, I remember they saying there was, I think it's supposed to come out this year or some shit. <clears throat> I'm pretty like, sure it is supposed to come out this year. Yeah. But you ever, you, you see how old fucking Keenan and Kel both look now? Yeah. I mean, well, What's Kel it? actually aged pretty well. Yeah. He, mm. I'm not going to lie. He he kind of had that, that Will Smith aging because uh, Will Smith took 20 years before his age actually hit him. <laughs> well, when it hit him, it hit him, you know. <laughs> now, do, you, do you guys agree with that? Because, yeah, well, like. Maybe. I mean, honestly, I literally felt like it took forever for me to actually see his age. But I think it's also like when he started shaving his like his head and letting his like facial hair grow out. Yeah, because like when you're clean shaven, you always look younger, or typically you look younger than what you actually are. Probably after you know the whole Oscar shit, you know they probably cut off his stem cell access to make him look younger, so they you know yeah. can't they, he doesn't have that access anymore. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I, it reminds me of the newer Bad Boys movie that came out. You see the difference in between the old movies oh, yeah. versus like the new one. It's like, golly. It's going to be exactly Good Burger 2, bro. You'd be like, man, it's been fat as shit. What's the, what's the plot of the movie going to be? Well, that's what I was wondering, too. I was like, bro, are they still you... going to be working they at were fucking acting Good like they were the same characters from the first movie. Like the exact same. That's why I'm telling you, like, it might be like the most outdated movie to come out if they don't change up stuff. Like, that, if you're gonna do a number two, it has to come with something new, or maybe like there's a time skip and they act a little different, or they got kids, or maybe it's. Yeah. But the humor was the exact same, and I was like, I hope it's not the whole movie. I, I'm hopefully because it was just a minute, you know what I mean. Yeah. So yeah. I don't want to make too harsh judgments now, but I'm definitely not getting a Paramount for subscription. That, that's cat. How the mm -hmm. fuck no? Like you better. The best time to make a sequel was you know maybe a couple years after the first one came out, bro. Why you wait this fucking long? Were both of them actively acting? Yeah. They were still in, like, Keenan and the Cow. They were doing Nickelodeon shit. They were oh, doing a bunch of stuff. I don't know if you remember the iCarly Victoria special where, uh, was it, Keenan, he ended up coming on that special out of nowhere, and that was, like, 2012, I think. Like, when they did that crossover episode, or maybe it was 2010. Maybe. But yeah. I, it, it was, like, 2010s, probably around there. Yeah. But even probably. then, like, Kel was starring in bullshit movies. Like, come oh, on. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm saying is bullshit movies. Like, you're not recognizable. Like, the only... Them two is good... Bur bur eh, good, good boy for me. <laughs> good boy <-ga. laughs> Water. <laughs> moving to New York on this one. Give me the boy -ga. That good boy -ga. Yeah, but they're, like... When I think Good Burger, I think them. It's yeah. interchangeable. Yeah, you can't I mean if you're making good burger too, you can't do it without them. But at the same time, why would you make good burger too? Yeah, honestly, I, I didn't want to. I want to be in the room when they pitched this idea. <laughs> like, I want to know what they said to like really sell this to somebody because so, somebody had to give the green light on that, bro. It's That's a whole SpongeBob scene. I keep referring to SpongeBob. Why'd you do this? Money, <laughs> <laughs> literally money. But how much money you gonna get off a of streaming service? We'll see. We'll see, bro. But if it's a hit, them burgers they be doing like the specialties and everything. You don't think it's gonna hit stores? The good burger? Where are they gonna no, sell it? At? I, I think I think the burger. The it good has burger potential sauce, to be like a sauce. crazy profit. It has potential. It it's just the movie has to be banging. It's probably not gonna be banging. Or the movie's ass and the food is banging, which would be actually unexpected. That would be kind of cool. I would, that wouldn't mind the movie at that point. But like the thing with the old movie this is like, this is what I like about the old movie is that it has that '90s charm. Like the '90s. If you try to do. In 2023, 90s charm, it's not going to hit as hard. It's not going to hit as hard because it's like, all right, I already know you're trying too hard. The 90s, the reason why most of that shit worked, even like the most corny shit that was a product of its time, because, okay, this is what they thought was it at the time. So you get a bunch of 90s songs, 90s humor, you get a bunch of that, but it's charm. That's what I like about it. Like, Good Burger was full of that shit. But if you try to do that now, I'm going to be like, no, you're trying too fucking hard. You're trying too fucking hard at that point. How did you guys feel about Ed's theme song in the movie? When he was like, I'm a dude. Yeah, you're she's a dude. dude. She's dude. We're all dudes. <laughs> like, yeah, but it's like, come on. You can't play. You can't do that in 20 nowadays, bro, no. without it being corny. No. In the 90s, that perfectly fit. 
it perfect. It fit perfectly. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I can guarantee you, like, whoever was watching the movie was probably, like, humming that, you know, at one point in time being like, mm, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, like, so, so, so bad it actually worked, you know, kind of thing. Versus right now, I think it just straight be bad. <laughs> that I was about to say, I've never hummed that to myself in my life. <laughs> yeah, after after tonight, I'm probably gonna forget it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but for the movie, it worked. It worked perfectly for the movie, bro. Did you? I don't know if you stayed for the. You probably didn't stay for the credits. No, who stays for the fucking credits? But like after in the credits, they play that song like, the, I'm a doo, doo, doo. and then after I was like, they play like a like a G funk rap type shit. I was like, oh shit, and I heard like it, heard, it sounded like Snoop Dogg. I was like. They got Snoop Dogg on this shit? Hold up. <laughs> and then it goes to the song credits. It was called, called Friends. And I was like, Warren G, what the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> I was literally listening. I was bumping my head. I'm like, hey, yeah, okay, okay. They got Snoop on. They got the G-Funk sound to it. And I was like, Warren G, that's not Snoop, nigga. <laughs> He said, that's not Snoop, nigga. And, and before a rap historian comes at me, I know him. I know Snoop, Warren G, and Nate Dogg were tight. But why did he have to sound like that, bro? They, that's false advertising. <laughs> that is false advertising. I thought it was Snoop, bro. Bro, I didn't even know that song was there. <laughs> you, I don't blame you. You have to hit like all the way at the end end credits. Once the movie done, I'm finished, bro. <laughs> like I'm not staying. <laughs> How did you guys feel about the Mondo Burger employees, their outfits? How did you guys feel about those? That shit looked like it'd be hell on earth if it was like hot as shit. Bro, yeah. you're gonna be sweating like a motherfucker through that shit. Yeah, it looked like a shitty astronaut kind of suit. Yeah, almost. like astronaut yeah. type shit. Like training suits or something. Yeah, shit. yeah, honestly. But, yeah. I lo- but you love the fucking main dude. The main dude, I thought the main dude was li- was uh, Neil Patrick Harris. You know that dude? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, the only thing I know him from is, like, the fucking shitty-ass Smurfs movie. Like, the live-action ones. <laughs> oh, my God. I have to look it that up. That is so I'm- disrespectful. <laughs> Can you name Neil Patrick Harris movie? Exactly. But <laughs> I literally had to look it up. It was, like, the main villain. I was like, Kurt. He literally looks like a young Neil Patrick Harris. Not some... It's, like, it's a completely different dude. I think it's, like, Jen... Foreign language name, but Gen Z, Gen, Gen Z, but, but it's a Gen with a J. <laughs> but like, I love like the main villain of that shit was funny as hell because that man. I remember in the beginning when uh, Keenan was working at Mondo Burger at first. He's like, when you were Mo- on Mondo Burger, you don't think of nothing else but Mondo Burger. You don't think of your mama. You don't think of your dad. You don't think about anybody. Your family. You only think about Mondo Burger. And I'm thinking like, damn. I wonder if this is like how McDonald's employees feel, bro. Like how the managers be talking to them. <laughs> like, no, nah, that's how gang members feel, bro. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> so, so McDonald's. <laughs> bro, you finna put in this work. Don't talk about no mama, no daddy. You finna just work, boy. You gonna live this shit. You gonna die for this shit. This is, this is your family now. Don't take off the asterisk, nigga. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you gotta pee. Hold it in. If you if you if you don't, if you try to get away from us, you go into the grinder. <laughs> and they always be threatening that shit. You go into the grinder. I was like, that you... sounds crazy. Yeah, no, I... they were actually a cult. In that the movie. sounds crazy. <laughs> it was it was wild. But they were fucked up too, cause they would if they they got uh they got both of them and they sent them to an insane asylum. Mm-hmm. I was like, what the fuck? You, you this is. This is this is horrible. Like this is literally like you just sending them away to fucking jail, like your own personal jail, bro. What the fuck? Model Burger was fucked up. Hey, they signed up for that. How they did... did, but at the same time, you have a whole like mental institution that you send people you don't like. They signed up for that, and you know the base pay versus based on the competition. So hell no, nah, bro. To die. Hell no, nah, dude. You get stacked up with that big ass motherfucking <laughs> bro. Especially that mental institution when they said when um uh, when uh when Cal when Cal got uh, released the fucking shackles on that dude and he got up it was like a big ass like he didn't even talk he was like talking grunts and like Ugh. and then he goes like to attack some shit and they're like oh my god he's killing Shelly and I was like yo what had to rewind this shit it's like this man this place is fucking crazy Mondo Burger you're fucked up you're fucked up for sending them to this place bro. <laughs> Bro, how did you guys feel about the Mondo Burger itself? She looked like a toy. It looked so ugly. <laughs> like I was like, that's their competition. It I was like, bro, appealing. It no, it literally looked so ugly. I was like, how are y'all losing to that? It looked like 
Have you ever seen that? Uh, there's that one place where it's like the, the heart attack grill or some shit. It literally reminded me of that. Where it's like, how the fuck do you eat that burger? How do you, how do you eat that? You yeah, that joint's so big. You like, bro, what am I supposed to do with this? It's like 90% bun. Yeah, you literally <laughs> need like a fork. If I need a fork and knife for my burger, bro, this burger fucking sucks. Like, I don't want to eat that. Like, I don't want a fork and knife. That's, a, that's for a steak. Not a fucking burger. I want to get my hands greasy. Could you like one hand a Mondo burger? So I'm pretty sure in the in the movie they actually did, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I think I think they, but like it was like <laughs> like wide grip, mm. like you, like your fingers and are like extended and bro. Joint, if I know? can't like crip, like yeah uh, yeah like, yeah right right pinch. I remember I think it was Ed who was holding like literally one handed, or maybe he was had 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 in like a little basket type shit. Maybe that's how it was, but like no, nah, like if you have to, you gotta squeeze that shit and imagine all the juices coming out, and especially by the end, you probably, people probably died eating that shit, bro. <laughs> So back in my college, there was this place called Spuds, right? And they had a food challenge, and the food challenge was called The Beast. So The Beast was this massive burger. It was a one-pound meat patty, right? One pound, that's a lot of beef. <laughs> that's a lot of meat. And then you had these massive buns. It was a half pound of cheese. That is a ridiculous amount of cheese, right? Two tomatoes, sliced, of course. Two full tomatoes, though. A whole head of lettuce. That's disgusting. Topped off. Oh my. And you God. had to finish it. If you did, you got your picture up on the wall. Your entire meal was free. And then I think there was like one other thing. I think you got a t shirt or something like that. But there was a dude on the wall. I kid you not, finished it in 18 minutes. No fucking way, bro. 18 minutes without throwing up. I said, that's not real. That's insane. His stomach must be like. Bro, a, a half pound of plan. cheese? A head of lettuce. A head of lettuce is like three salads. Have you seen the way like people like that competitively eat, like how they eat them big ass joints? Yeah, like man versus Bro, food. Yeah. It's shit. nasty. Oh like, yeah, man versus It's like food, fork right? versus fork and knife first, and then next it's just globs. It's just separating, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm just eat all the tomatoes and then I'll just, I'm gonna just eat meat. You gotta eat go nom 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 down the water and make it like a me like uh, you got a like, chunk sticking to the water glass. Yeah, <laughs> like it looks so fucking nasty at that point. I'm like, all you're getting, you're not even getting money for this. You just want to get your photo up on the wall, bro. You can't even enjoy. You're not even enjoying a meal. You're just stuffing your face. And it's, ugh, nah, bro. That's the thing. I never That's saw abhorrent. somebody actually order it before. Even though they had a, I think it was 25 people that had their picture up on the wall. I said, 25 people finished this. That's insane. 25 people ordered this. Yeah, <laughs> and the burger itself was so expensive. It, it was, I think it was, I don't even remember what the actual you price You said it's was free if it. you finish it? Yeah, it was free if you finish it. Yeah. Mm. But I that's mean, how most food challenges are. I feel like they're charging you like 45 for that. Wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I wouldn't the amount be surprised. ingredients that go into this shit. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad at 45. I mean, it's like two whole tomatoes, a cabbage. Like, <laughs> oh, hey. Did you guys ever have or go to a food place that had a food challenge like that? I've never participated in one because I already I know my limit. <laughs> but have you ever seen like one get promoted? I've seen some spicy ones before, yeah. like where I've been in like a ramen shop or like some little spot, and they're like, "Oh, like this is a spicy challenge." Da, da, da. Finish in five minutes, no water. Oh, yeah, okay. I remember it would be like some wing spots. I forget, I forget specifically what it was, but it was like one of the mom and pop wing shops where it's like it's the spiciest thing on the menu. If you eat this, you will literally die, and you cannot have any milk or water. But if you get it, you get your phone on the wall. So it's like okay. Bro, I feel like ever since, like, the ghost pepper was, like, introduced into meat, like, social media, like, the spice craze has been, like, crazy. Like, before, yeah, I don't feel like crazy. you saw, like, oh, like, spicy nuggets. Like, that that's, like, the hot thing right now. Or, like, Wendy's just had a ghost pepper thing, I believe, mm. or something like that. Bro, a couple years ago, I would not be enticed by, like, a mm -hmm. spicy-ass thing. You know what I mean? Have you ever eaten a ghost pepper type of thing? Yeah, so... I was, this was back in, also in college, there was this place called The Tavern, and we went there for a wing night, and my buddy, he had ordered the ghost pepper wing. He literally had to sign a waiver <laughs> right, <laughs> right, nah, before, nah. right before he got it. I could, so we were, it's like an upstairs level to the tavern that we were at, right? Or maybe we were in the downstairs level. But yeah, so anyways, like, r regardless which level we're on, the serve was coming from the opposite, right? I could smell it when the server was walking it up. Yikes. Like, I like, it like... I could feel it in my nostrils, <laughs> and my man, up a bit. <laughs> yeah, my man looked at this like he his face started turning red before he even ate the wing itself. It was Yo. crazy, yeah. But I mean, he was a champ. Shout shout out to my boy Greg. He uh, <laughs> he ate it, bro, and he he handled Wrong it match. like a true bro. champ. But yeah, I. 
He had to sign a waiver. I'm like, bro, okay, hold up. We we taking this a little too far right now. We're taking what this a little too far. What do you actually do to prevent yourself from like not crying the next morning? I have no idea. On the menu, it literally had a skull and crossbones next to it, bro. Because <laughs> if it's crazy going in, imagine it going out. Hey, I've had experience. Like, there was the it's like a hot chip challenge or some shit. The one chip joint. Yeah, where like oh, comes in, a, it comes yeah. in a whole coffin and shit. Yeah, yeah, it's the one chip challenge. Dude, yeah. when it came out, that shit was like black, like literally black. I don't like. Oh no, smell that shit. It smelled horrible. Is the Doritos Cool Ranch all the ranch? Yeah, literally, I'll put all that ranch and it's like some ghost pepper seasoning, bro. I was like, oh, I can't be that bad. You know, I could I could handle my spice. I'm a, I'm a badass. Come on, it can't be that bad. Um, let's know it's okay. It's okay. And bro, I literally ran over to that fucking sink and went, oh, 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 oh. bro, I was fucking dying. And literally, I could not stop myself from literally crying. Like, I, it kept the amount of fucking tears and like snot that came out. I was like, bro, no amount of milk, no amount of water could save, could save me from that shit. It was horrible. And literally, like the next morning when the, the when the demon was released from my bowels, it did not feel good at all, bro. It did not feel good. It felt, I'm not even gonna describe that shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> a little came out, he had to run to just get away from the heat. <laughs> Dude, like I think it literally lasted for like an hour or an hour or two after after I ate that shit, the, like the heat of that shit. It was bro, horrible. I'd hop in the shower. What you mean? The fuck <laughs> is the shower gonna do? <laughs> Something better than just waiting on my ass. <laughs> bro, the cold shower gonna make my whole body, I'm gonna be a, a fucking icicle. Meanwhile, my mouth is just still fucking like, ah. Bro, just put your butt right next to it. Put my butt, spread my booty cheeks in the fucking cold shop. <laughs> <laughs> Try to make, make the make This the, man just face down, ass up in the shower. <laughs> just waiting for the just waiting for the explosion. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, but I need a good burger spice variant. You need a good burger spice variant? So what what about like if they had a spicy sauce? Or do you need... It's, it, that's not enough. At that's not point. enough. That's not enough. I mean, everybody has a spice thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Everyone kind of has their own little thing. Yeah, I can't eat chips nowadays without it having like a little bit of spice on it. If it's like just a boring chip. I'm like, oh, yeah. I thought you meant like you can't eat chips and like... I took it as like I'm so traumatized from that one oh. chip. <laughs> you were like, I look at Doritos and I and I start shaking. I see, I see spicy nacho and I, see, I cower. Get PTSD. Like, My Does that bag say quivers. spicy sweet chili? <laughs> spice. <laughs> but no, I'm like yeah. I can't. I have to put on like a little bit of spice, just a oh, tad okay. bit. Okay. Just a tad bit of spice. You see, I'm glad because here I am thinking you got PTSD walking through the chip section like a grocery store, being like, <laughs> <laughs> he's in the PJs. Wing selection. Oh no! <laughs> Destroy all the spice. <laughs> what do you mean by extreme? <laughs> <laughs> there was another food challenge. This was when I was out in Wisconsin. With I actually did this with my mother. I'm pretty sure it was this massive pizza, and you had to finish it. But when I tell you it was like massive, I'm talking like this thing had a perimeter. <laughs> Joint was the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Legitimately. No, it was really good pizza though, but it was just, it was literally just such a massive amount of it. And mind you, we had like four of us tackling it and we still couldn't finish as four people. Damn. You know? And, and you, know, you know I'd be a hungry boy, <laughs> you know? So the fact that like I couldn't even hit like a quarter quadrant, yeah, the, that that's how you know this thing is large. I would describe it as quadrants. <laughs> you got quadrants. Of there pizza. are hemispheres on this pizza, bro. <laughs> like there are regions, bro. Yeah, that that one was really cool too. That one actually had a really dope like shirt. That they they give you all types of all, all the kinds of drip for that one. That they actually make it known that you're like a celebrity, being like he took on the Kong Pizza Challenge. <laughs> he's an eater. <laughs> he's an eater. He shit aggressively the next day, but he's an eater. <laughs> Bro, seriously, eating a whole pizza? Try it. You know, like the Chicago deep dish. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine eating like a whole joint in one sitting? Bro, R.I.P. Your colon. Bro, <laughs> Bro. <laughs> you just don't have one after. Bro, all that cheese. <laughs> no, I'm I'm horrified of overeating now because y'all ever have the feeling of getting pregnant? No, no, not really. Let, let, not so, really. so let me describe it. Imagine oh, you, right. imagine you overeating, mm-hmm. and you overeat like a motherfucker, and then you're like, then you wake up the next morning, you're like, oh god, oh my, is that, oh, is that my lungs or am I just, oh, what is that, my belly? Like, bro, literally, like a few days ago, I not even a few days ago, more like two days ago, I got. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I may have gotten a little too lifted. And I was like, man, my, my mouth is my mouth is hungry, but I know my body isn't. I got to satiate my mouth, though. So I went, oh, I'm going to go to the fridge. I'm going to eat this whole ass pork chop with some rice. And I felt good. After that, I felt pretty good. The next morning, ooh, I regretted that shit, bro. I, if that's what women feel like when they pregnant... Bro, I'm glad I'm not a woman, bro. Like, that shit felt awful. I, I woke up, I'm like, oh, I could barely fucking breathe. That's like, what I'm saying. You suffocated yourself, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's not pregnancy. That's death. Yeah. <laughs> you were on suicide and shit. <laughs> the price of quote unquote satiating your mouth. Yo. <laughs> I didn't feel. I didn't know, bro. I didn't know. So my 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 my, my organs were exploding, but you know it was worth it. One my, more bite. My, One more. My lungs were literally getting crushed, bro. It was Next so visit. Good. Yeah, you got high blood pressure. Uh, <laughs> it was so bad too, cause I'm like, oh man, I gotta release this shit. So I was like, oh, what if I make myself vomit? I couldn't vomit, so I'm like, that's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty bad. All you right, try bro. making yourself vomit, bro. That is horrible. <laughs> What is going on? Bro, that ain't what that kind some of shit you expect like the fattest nigga on earth to say? Bro, what like, kind I of ate state so was much, he in? I just puked just so I could eat more. <laughs> he said I suffocated myself. You, your ass said I had to satiate my mouth. It's meaning you wanted to eat. <laughs> yeah, but now this is the next part. I was like, uh, uh, cause I was bro, I, could, I, could, I could barely fucking breathe. I'm like, how the fuck do I fix this? I was like, all right, fuck it. I got a shit. So let me go take some Bento Bismol and just, oh, and just drink that shit. Yo, <laughs> that shit what not... is this thought process? What the fuck? I thought Bento Bismol help you shit or some shit, bro. What? <laughs> you need Fig Newtons, my nigga. Well, I hate Fig Newtons. I'm not eating that shit. You need fiber. <laughs> That's true, but we didn't have fiber in the house, so I had to improvise. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> had to improvise. So I said, fuck it. Oh, we got laxatives? I'll eat that shit then. And then I read on the back of this shit, said 12, hour, 12 to 72 hours to kick. And I'm like, man, fuck, I'm going to be... <laughs> oh, wait, you said you ate some laxatives? Yeah. <laughs> what? what? That shit still hasn't kicked in yet, bro. I'm still <laughs> waiting. Yo, so I just, get out of the studio. Get out of here. <laughs> Leave. Bro, this man is a walking time yeah, bomb. Yeah, this man said I, it, got, it got a three-day delay. <laughs> bro, no. This man gonna be at work smoking that nicotine go heat. Oh god. <laughs> bro, I drank three cups of coffee today. I'm still waiting. I was shocked. How backed up are you? How backed up are you? I don't know. Why'd bro. you douse a whole bottle of Pepto Bismol? Johnny, when it bro, hits, your intestines don't know what it's doing right now. You gotta confuse. I, I need you to be like a wounded animal and just go into the forest. Don't do that on no toilet. That's that shit will be vandalized, <laughs> sinned. That shit ain't gonna have to be replaced. Like, you no, know it's gonna smell abhorrent. That's why I'm going with the gas mask, bro. I'm not fucking risking that this shit. This man's not playing. He got a gas mask. I do have a whole gas mask. <laughs> I will do it. Bro, you got me so concerned right now. Can you just imagine this nigga butt naked on the toilet, just gas mask on? I know for a fact his veins have nicotine and Everclear in it right now. Like, <laughs> He's poisoned his system for life. <laughs> He's never gonna be the same again. <laughs> what if as a side effect I never had to eat ever again, bro? That'd be kind of lit, bro. I'm, I'm vulnerable. All I gotta do is I drink water. I feel like that is not a superpower. That's not. <laughs> I feel like that's more of a curse. Yeah, it's like it's like saying, "Oh, I can never sleep ever again." That's a curse. Oh, I live forever, but all food tastes like shit except blood. <laughs> Vampire ass nigga. <laughs> All right. So, what are you guys' final thoughts on Good Burger? Or just, honestly, any kind of words of wisdom for the audience? Uh, don't drink Pepto-Bismol if you're trying to shit. Just take a laxative and pray. Just don't overeat in general. Don't be like me. Just uh, just wait. Just be patient. Your, your stomach will feel better after a while of not of not eating. Trust me. Don't be like me. That's, that's Please today. don't be like him. Please. That's, that's, today's Please. P, that's today's PSA. I'm going to explode, like, either tonight or tomorrow. It'll go I'm to your not, thighs. I'm, I'm not looking. Then you blow up. It's going to be like Krakatoa. <laughs> All we going to find is feet right next yeah. to a toilet, bro. <laughs> this man going to instantaneously combust. <laughs> and knock on the door. Shani, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Literally hear a grenade going off in the fucking bathroom. Boom, boom. Ah! <laughs> this nigga pretending to go Super Saiyan in there? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but ser no. <laughs> seriously audience respect yourself reserve your secret sauce don't give out that recipe 
And definitely don't sign no 80-20. Fuck out of here. Yeah, hell fuck yeah, yeah. Read, read the contracts. Read fuck the contracts. Make 100%. that shit equitable, bro. Mm-hmm. And get yourself a paddy wagon. Go, mm-hmm. go, go drive a sandwich. And go ahead and find Shaq and give him a good-ass burger. Yeah. Shout out Shaq and his shoes. Yeah, yeah. Go go watch uh, Good Burger 2 whenever it comes out and go see the second appearance of Shaq because that's the only reason I'm watching the movie. Yeah, shout out to Sin- Sinhead. Sinbad, you're a, you're a cool conehead. Yeah, you're a great pirate. And the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out the movie. Shout out the animated movie. I don't remember shit from it, but he, I know you sailed the seven seas. I know he saw a Kraken. <laughs> you did he? <laughs> Bro, it was on the front cover. It was on the front cover? Bro, we had the VHS. I know we had the VHS. All I remember is that motherfucker going like, hey. Like, he's just oh so my happy. Goodness, bro. All right. <laughs> If y'all want to, you know, see us do an episode about Sinbad, we got you. Just let us know. Sinbad right. the movie, not the comedian. The movie. The movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let us know uh, if you want us to review Hannibal Buress. <laughs> 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 All right, and that wraps up this episode of Remember One. Thank y'all so much for listening and watching. Until next time, peace out, members. Later, y'all. Wish me luck, y'all. Remember When is a Sweet Recording production. Check them out at S-U-I-T-E recording.com. Intro and outro created by our very own Johnny. Subscribe, listen, and remember to review wherever you are on social media. Thanks for listening.